I had a client that I was working with who uh, physically abused throughout her childhood. Um, later on in life, she got in a, a major car accident, left her with one leg shorter than the other. Mm -hmm. And so she had tremendous shame, um, not just inbred from, you know, uh, I'm unworthy because I was, you know, abused as a child. So you got those messages like you're not worth, you're not worth anything. But also that, that sense of like, I'm so different, I don't belong. I'm even kind of physically, uh, um, you know, disabled in some way. And so, so much so that she'd never really even look at her leg. She hadn't looked at her leg in years because she was so disgusted by it and felt so shamed by it. And so one of the things that uh, we started to work with, and this is what I find is so powerful and um, likely the, the viewers on this have heard, have heard some of this before, but so powerful in the work that I've done, because I've worked with so many depressed patients at this point, um, is especially when depression starts to hit as some form of uh, loving kindness practice. And that's different than just a kind of a regular mindfulness practice. But this is a little bit different. Um, and here's what I did with her. First I brought her through uh, the idea of the sense of, um, of um, she was already experiencing some kind of difficulty in that moment because we had been talking about her car accident and her leg and you know these types of things. And I had her kind of close her eyes and become aware of the feeling that's there. And then uh, where it was in her body and for her, when, as with me and a lot of people, it's kind of in our chest and people feel in their stomach, these different things. And then I asked her to think about um, uh, a person in her, uh, in her life that she could possibly even consider that's living or dead or someone she's met or hasn't had met or maybe it's a place, I said to her, that um, is a place that uh, is some kind of safe place for you and, and gives you a sense of kind of soothing uh, and so she can, and caring.